Would you like to come back and work here? What? I can't believe you're asking me that. You're right. I mean, I have no business asking you to come back to work here. That's right. You don't. Are you angry with me, Whitney? No, no. It, it just surprised me when you suggested that Teresa might come back to work here. Well, I mean, it's no wonder. I mean, it's a stupid idea, me asking Teresa to come back to work here after accusing her of stalking me. You have my permission to let me have it. Ethan, I could never be angry at you. After all, I'm still responsible for what happened to you. Accidents or not, you still wound up dripping with paint and milkshakes and barbecues, as you name it. Yes, and let's not forget you name it. I will always remember that night you walked into the fish cannery. I prayed I would never cause another accident, but then I slipped and hit that button and all those fish spilled out on top of you and I couldn't believe my eyes. You think you were surprised? I mean, I was just doing a routine inspection of Crane Industries when all of a sudden I'm swimming in fish parts. And you tried to get up, but the floor was just too slippery. That must have looked like something out of a Jerry Lewis movie. Ooh. You okay? <laughs> Don't you think we should get going, Teresa? Uh, yeah, I've kept you here long enough. As far as you coming back to work here, Teresa... Oh, yes, Ethan. Well, I had the idea that you enjoyed working for my mother. I mean, not to mention the salary and the career opportunity it afforded you. Uh, working as your mother's personal secretary here in the mansion is my dream job. Yeah, and I spoiled it for you by accusing you of stock. So I understand if you don't accept my offer. But at least think about it, Teresa. Ah, uh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Sure. Quinn. Hello, darling. Hi. Quinn, I'm so glad you're here. You never guess who's in the living room. Oh. My stalker. So Whitney showed me the video, and so I finally realized Teresa was never stalking me. It was just a series of accidents. But it was Teresa the whole time. Yes, that's right. Well, I don't understand why you didn't just say so earlier when Frank ripped off her disguise. Well, I was worried that Teresa's mother, Prolara, might lose her job as our housekeeper. I'm glad I covered for her now that I know Teresa didn't mean any harm. Ethan, these accidents that Teresa caused, do they happen around other people? No, see, that's what's weird. She's only accident-prone around me. Really? Why do you think that is? Why would you have that effect on her? Beats me. I told Teresa that was water under the bridge. Well, so have you made your decision, Teresa? Yes, I have. I accept, Ethan. I'd love to come back to work here. Back to work? Here? <laughs> yes, I asked Teresa if she would consider coming back to her old job. My mother's completely disorganized without her. <laughs> She'll be thrilled, just as Gwen and I are. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations, Teresa. Everything seems to be working out for you. I know. Isn't it great? The last time I was in this house, I ran out the front door in tears thinking I'd never be allowed to set foot in here again. <laughs> it's amazing. And now I'll be working for Ivy Crane again. It's like a fairy tale. Yeah, it is in a way. <laughs> but I think it might be best if we don't mention to my parents that Teresa was responsible for my accidents. I mean, my mother's very protective. It might just complicate things. Of course. Whatever you say. Thanks again. I'll never be able to tell you how much this means to me. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Yeah, I thought you might enjoy my father's tennis album, since I hear you're such a great tennis player yourself. Oh, well, thanks. It's actually amazing, because he has photos and clippings of practically every tennis champion I've ever heard of. Well, that's my dad. He doesn't do anything halfway. <laughs> There's just um, one question I had. Do you know why my father's picture is in there? Yeah, I didn't know it was. Yeah, see, right here, with this old news clipping of a tennis championship he was in years ago. Yeah, it's a mystery to me. I didn't even know my father knew T.C. Russell. Well, maybe your dad knows what he's doing in here. Maybe. Well, thanks.
Thanks again, Ethan. Oh, thanks. Please uh, tell your mother I'll be ready to start back to work here tomorrow. Well, I sure will. And I can tell you right now she can't wait. <laughs> I'll see you to the door. Okay, oh. bye-bye. Bye. Finally. We're alone. <laughs> Not only that, my stocking episode is finally behind us. Well, Teresa seems happy about that. Yeah, she was, but I'm still going to make it up to her. <laughs>